Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories, fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world, recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. If you like snakes, you'll like this story. So listen closely because in this episode we're going to hear from Toop, about a story from South America which tells why the rattlesnake rattles and how snakes got their poison. They say a long, 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 long time ago, South America, there was only day, only day, and the people did not know what it felt like to have night, when to sleep, when to rest. But they knew that the snakes, they had the power of night, for they liked to hang around the dark corner and wait underneath rocks. So the chief asked one of the young, brave warriors to make his way into the Amazon jungle to go and speak to the snake king to ask for a bag of night. He gave the young, brave warrior a bow and arrow to give as a gift to the snake king. He made his way through the Amazon jungle, and the birds are always watching. <coughs> young warrior, young warrior, a bag of night, a bag of night. He looks up and he says, Shh, don't expose me. I'm going on an adventure. He makes his way into a clearing where there are some ruins all around him. And he calls, Snake King, Snake King. And he sees a huge, slithering, scaly, beautiful coloured snake uncoil and slither itself out from within the jungle and coil up on a huge altered slab. What is it you want? says the snake. And the young brave warrior says, Snake King, I understand that you have the power of night and we have only day. There is no night. We do not know when to rest. But please, will you give us a bag of night? And the snake says, No. And the young brave warrior says, I have brought you a gift, a gift of a bow and arrow. And the snake king says, I have no hands. I have no legs. I have no need of your gifts. Go. And so the young brave warrior, he runs all the way back, all the way back to his village. And he says to his chief, I believe I may have offended the snake king. He does not wish for any of our gifts. And the king, he sits there and he thinks, what can we give the snake king? At this moment, one of the women, they approach the king and they say to him, may we speak? He says, please do. And they say, when are little ones, when they are little bored and they want something to do, we go down to the riverside. We cut the reeds, we leave them to dry, we plait them, leaving an opening, we fill it with some seed or something like that, then we finish the plait and we give it to our little ones and it keeps them quite happy indeed. And the chief, he thinks to himself, well, all right then, I think this is a good idea. Go to the riverbank. And the women, they go to the riverbank and they come back with the finished rattle. And the king says, now, Take this gift to the snake king. Tell him it is good medicine. And the young brave warrior says, but, but, but just say the snake king doesn't like this gift. And the chief, he says, listen, tell the snake king that all of his subjects will know that he is coming before he has even approached them. Tie it to his tail. Tell him as he moves, it will move as well. Now go. And the young brave warrior, he makes his way through the Amazon jungle once again. And the birds, they are always watching. <coughs> young warrior, young warrior, a bag of night, a bag of night. He looks up and says, shh, don't expose me. I'm going on an adventure. He makes his way once again to the clearing and he calls for the snake king. Snake king! Snake king! And a huge, slithering, scaly, rainbowed body slithers out of the rainforest and coils itself up on the altered slab once again. And the young brave warrior says, Snake king, uh, I have brought you a new gift, uh, hoping for 
a bag of night. And the snake king says, I told you, I have no need of your gifts. I have no hands. I have no legs. And the young brave warrior says, but I have hands and I have legs. And if I can approach you, I will tie my gift to your tail. And as you move, it will move with you. And all your subjects will know that you are coming. And the snake king likes this idea. So with his tail flicking, he puts it in the direction of the young brave warrior who approached the snake king with trembling hands. He ties the rattle to the tail of the snake king and steps back. And the snake king, he moves this way, he moves that way, and the rattle follows him. And he says, this is good medicine. I will give you a gift. And he makes a sound with his mouth. And upon the heads of lesser snakes comes a smaller bag of night. The young brave warrior, he takes the bag and puts it over his shoulder. And he says to the snake king, I was hoping for a larger bag of night. And the snake king says, well, if you wish for a larger bag of night, then you will have to bring me more things than the rattles. And the young brave warrior says, well, do you wish for a feathered headdress? Maybe a more better crafted bow and arrow? No, says the snake king, bring me poison. The poison which you use on your arrows. Now go! And the young brave warrior, with the sack upon his back, runs through the Amazon jungle. And the birds, they try to fly down and burst the bag open. But he shoes them away until he reaches his camp. When he reaches his camp, his chief says, But this bag is, is small. I was hoping for a larger bag. And the young brave warrior says, Well, if we want a larger bag, the snake king wants more things than rattles. And the chief says, do not worry, let us rest now. You shall tell us when we rise. And they open up the bag and they say night fell up underneath the canopy of leaves in the rainforest and stretched itself out. The people, they took to their hammocks and they rested. And then it was short-lived. For when they rose up, the chief approached the young man and asked, Now what is it that the snake king wanted? And the young brave warrior said, He wants poison. No problem, says the chief. And he asked the women and the men and the little ones to go out into the rainforest to pick the fungi and the berries. And they put it all into a big cauldron. They boiled it up until it became a, a, a festering poison. And then they poured it into some earthenware jars. They put the cork on the top and they gave it to the young brave warrior who made his way once again in through the Amazon jungle. And the birds, they are always watching. Young warrior, young warrior, bag of night. Young warrior, young warrior, bag of night. He made his way to the clearing and once again he called for the snake king. Snake king, snake king. But before he even saw the snake king, he heard him. Then he coiled himself up upon the huge altar. The young brave warrior said, I have brought for you the poison, it is here. And the snake king made a sound again with his tongue. And upon the heads of lesser snakes, there came a huge bag of night, which the young brave warrior took and placed it over his back. He turned to the snake king and asked, Why do you need so much poison? And the snake king replied, We snakes are not poisonous. And so I will share the poison out amongst the lesser snakes. We will have a sack in the back of our throats where we will keep the poison. And we will have a hole at the base of our fangs where the poison shall drip from. Now listen, young brave warrior. Do not open up the sack until you reach your village. Give me time to share the poison out amongst the lesser snakes. Do not open the sack until you reach your village. The young brave warrior said, I understand. And so he left the clearing and made his way through the rainforest. And the birds are always watching. Young warrior, young warrior, bag of night. Young warrior, young warrior, bag of night. The young brave warrior had the sack over his shoulder when the birds, they flew down and burst the sack open and they say night fell up underneath the canopy of leaves and stretched itself out. 
At that moment, the snake king was sharing out the poison amongst the lesser snakes. But then in the confusion of everything, he dropped the earthenware jar and the poison oozed out all over the ground. Some snakes, they tried to lick up as much as they could, but some snakes, they did not lick any. And that is how, to this very day, some snakes are very poisonous and some snakes are not. And that is why the rattlesnake still rattles and why when you walk into the rainforest, it is very dark. Thanks for listening to Super Great Kids Stories. Remember to like, subscribe and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. For more information, news and story resources, remember to visit our website at supergreatkidsstories.com. Thank you.